Ever wondered if the fabric of the universe is made of tiny pixels or is perfectly smooth? Picture a movie on a screen. Up close, you see individual frames, but from afar, it looks like continuous motion. Is space-time more like a continuous rubber sheet or built from discrete Lego blocks at the tiniest scales? Today, we'll explore this mind-blowing question. Is space-time continuous or discrete? Hey everyone, welcome to Mind Blown Science, your place for exploring the biggest ideas in science, physics, and mathematics. If you love learning about the universe, from quantum mechanics to cosmology, you're in the right place. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of our deep dives into the wonders of science. Continuous space-time, the smooth fabric. General Relativity's view in Einstein's theory of general relativity, space-time is modeled as a smooth, continuous, four-dimensional fabric. There are no built-in gaps or pixels in this picture. Space and time are infinitely divisible, like a perfectly smooth rubber sheet. Experimental evidence. All measurements so far are consistent with this continuum view. Experiments probing very small distances down to about the Planck length, 10 to the minus 35 meters, have found no sign of discrete chunks in space. In other words, space has appeared smooth even under the most sensitive tests. For example, high energy astrophysics experiments, like those with the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, show that photons of different energies arrive together across huge huge distances. If space were grainy, high-energy light would be delayed or scattered differently, but no such effect is seen. These results suggest Lorentz symmetry holds even below the Planck scale, strongly favoring a continuous space-time. Planck scale caution. The Planck length and Planck time are often mentioned as the quantum gravity scales, but that doesn't automatically mean space is chopped into units of that size. It's more like using the radius of the Earth as a unit. It tells us a scale is important, but it doesn't make all distances multiples of the Earth's radius. In fact, one careful analysis notes that speaking about the Planck scale doesn't imply that distances become discrete. In simple terms, the Planck length is just a reference number. It doesn't force space-time to be a grid of tiny blocks. Analogy. Imagine zooming into a very high-definition picture. It keeps looking smooth the closer you get, rather than revealing big, obvious pixels. In the continuum picture, space-time is like that ultra-fine image, smooth and seamless at all scales. Discrete space-time. The Lego blocks. Quantum gravity ideas. Some cutting-edge theories of quantum gravity suggest space-time might be quantized at the smallest scales. For instance, loop quantum gravity, LQG, predicts that geometry itself comes in discrete chunks. In LQG, operators, corresponding to area and volume, have a discrete spectrum, meaning space is effectively made of tiny, indivisible atoms, or quanta. In this view, there is a smallest possible volume or area, like building blocks of space. Planck scale pixels. Under a discrete hypothesis, you could think of space-time as having Planck scale pixels. Time might tick in Planck time intervals, 10 to the minus 43 seconds, and space might come in Planck length pixels. This would be like space having the resolution of a quantum screen. Analogies often compare discrete space-time to Lego bricks. At a microscopic level, the universe would be assembled from fundamental blocks. Other theoretical views. Not all quantum gravity ideas require a simple pixel picture. Interestingly, string theory, another leading candidate for quantum gravity, doesn't explicitly rely on space-time being fundamentally discrete. In fact, string theory hints that the ultimate nature of space-time at the tiniest scales might be something neither continuous nor simple blocks, but a new unknown structure. The common view among many high-energy theorists is that space-time at short distances could be unlike anything we currently imagine. Analogy Think of a 3D video game world. From a distance, it looks smooth, but up close, you see it's made of cubes and pixels. If space-time were discrete, it would be as if the universe is an infinite LEGO model. Smooth on the surface, but grainy if you could zoom in enough. So what do we take away? At everyday scales, and even scales much smaller, space-time behaves as if it's a smooth, continuous fabric. 
General relativity works beautifully with this assumption, and experiments like those testing Lorentz invariants have found no hint of fundamental graininess. On the other hand, leading quantum gravity theories remind us we don't really know the answer at the Planck scale. Some, like loop quantum gravity, propose a granular space-time, while others, like string theory, suggest an even stranger possibility. In short, the jury is still out. One thing is clear. The question touches deep puzzles in physics. Is space-time continuous or made of chunks? This is an open frontier. We hope this exploration sparked your curiosity. Drop a comment below and let us know what you think. Could space-time be pixelated or is it a seamless fabric? Stay curious and we'll see you next time on Mind Blown Science.